Good morning, kindergarten boys and girls. Today is Wednesday. We are going to be starting a brand new unit today. We've got unit nine and unit 10 that we have to get through before the end of the school year. So we're gonna work really hard on those. Today's lesson, we're going to work on segmenting words into their sounds. And we're also gonna learn two new tricky words. Okay, so we're going to start by blending the sounds of words to make the word complete. So the way that we're going to do this is you are going to touch each finger to your thumb for each sound. Okay, so we're going to start with the pointer finger and it'll be the first sound you'll touch. The second sound you'll use the next finger. The third sound you'll use the next finger. And then if there's a fourth sound then you'll touch your pinky to your thumb and then when we blend them together you're going to do this as if you had letters on your fingers or sounds on your fingers and then you're putting them all together kind of looks like a fist when we put them together so let's try just a simple word like cat okay here we go K -A -T. Okay, we're blending those three sounds together. Do you see how that works? Let's try another simple one. Let's do the word mat. M-A-T, mat. Okay, so the way that we will do it is just like Miss Hales showed you. Now, because we're blending sounds together, Miss Hales is going to give you the individual sounds and then you will help me to put them together as a word. Okay, so I will start with the individual sounds. You're going to have to listen to me for this first part. And I know it's a little awkward because you're not in the same room with me, right? We're not at school, but we, I will give you the sounds. I'll wait for you to blend them together. And then Miss Hales will blend them and we'll see if you got the same word that I got. Okay, let's try the first one. It's my turn first. B, E, T, R. What word is that? I'll give you the sounds again. B, E, T, R, better. Okay, that's the word better. Let's try the next one. These first few, I'm only changing one sound, and then when we do the last ones, they'll be all different sounds all together, okay? So we're kind of doing this like we're chaining. I'm just changing one of the sounds of the word for these first few until we get the hang of it, okay? The next one. Listen to the sounds. B, a, t, er. What word is that? I'll do it again. B, a, t, er. Butter. Did you get butter? Okay. Let's try another one. Are you ready? Listen up. M, a, t, er. I'll try it again. M, a, t, er, mutter. Okay? All right, let's do another one. Here we go. M, a, t, er, mother. Did you say mother? Try it again. M, a, t, er, mother. Okay, now let's do another one. Here we go. A, uh, er, other. Okay, here, now this one's a brand new word. Doesn't sound like the other ones at all. Okay, new word. Here we go. My turn first. P, a, p, er. What word is that? I'll do it again. P, a, p, er. Paper. Did you get it? <laughs> that one was paper. Here's another one. Mark. I'll do it again. Mark. Mark. Did you get that one? Let's do another one that has four sounds. Here we go. Listen carefully. S -e I'll do it again. S -e -n -t. Scent. 
cents. Let's do another one. P -e -z. I'll try it again. P -e -z. Pens. Did you get that one? And let's do one more. Here we go. Listen to the sounds. St ick. What word is that? What do you think? Let's try it again and then I'll tell you. St ick. Stick. You got that one, I'm sure. Okay. Now let's learn some tricky words. Okay. Before we learn our new tricky words, let's review the old ones that we've already learned. So we're going to start with the shorter words, ones that don't have a whole lot of letters to spell them. The first one is going to be the word a, uh, spelled with an a. Okay, like can I have a bag of chips or can I have a banana? The next one is the word the. I saw the car go down the street. Remember the TH works together to say V and the E and this one is pronounced differently. It's not pronounced the, it's pronounced the. I saw the car. Okay, so we have a and the. Then we have this word, the word of, the word of. Can I have a cup of water? Or can I have a bag of apples? Okay, then we have the word all, where the A sounds kind of like an O, ah, but it's spelled with A-L-L, -L, all. I would like to have all of the markers, so I can have all of the colors. So we have the, or we have a, the, of, and all. Then we also learned the word from. From. Where did you get the ball from? I got the ball from the gym room. Okay. Um, then we also learned the word was, spelled W-A-S. The boy was dressed very nicely. So let's review. We have a, the, of, all, from, and was. We also learned the word one, which is the number one, right? Spelled O-N-E, one. And then we're going to work on two new words today. Okay, the first tricky word that we're going to learn this week, and we're going to learn several of them, but the first one is the word when. When. Let's sound it out. W-e-n. When. Okay? So it sounds like it's spelled W-e-n. When. But that's not how we spell it, and that's why it's a tricky word. Okay? The actual way that we spell it is using the digraph. WH that we've learned, right? And that digraph says woo. Okay? Woo. You should feel the air moving through your mouth when you say it. Woo. N. When. When. Okay? It's spelled W H E N. So W E N, even though that's what it sounds like, is not the correct way to spell it. Okay? The next one that we're going to learn is the word word. Let's sound that one out. Word. Word. The, and when we say the word word, the there are two letters that work together to make that er sound in the middle. So it's actually spelled W O R D. The W still says W, the D still says D, but the O and the R work together to say ER, ER, okay? 
So the word word is spelled W-O-R-D. Those are our two new tricky words, when and word. Okay? So what you're going to do today for Nearpod is a review of tricky words that we've learned in the past plus our two new tricky words that we've just learned today. So you're going to go to Nearpod and you're going to see a, um, a worksheet that looks just like this, okay? And what you're going to do is you'll notice up here you have the boxes that have your words in them or your word bank. There's another word bank down here. So you have number one, two, and three. What you're gonna need to do is read the sentence and fill in the blank with the word that makes sense. Okay, so let's do the first one together. It says, Sam has a box blank gum. Sam has a box blank gum. So we need to decide which of these three words fits right there in that blank. So we have the word when, we have the word from and the word of. So you will decide which word goes here and you'll write it there and then you'll cross out the words that you have already used so that that will help you. Okay, let me read the second sentence for you. It says, Kit got chips blank a shop. And I'll read the third sentence. Blank will Seth get his gifts. So you just need to read these words and decide which one goes where and write it in with your finger. Now let's look at this word bank down here. This says was, word, all. Okay? And we'll read the sentences for you. It says Sam drank blank the milk. Okay? So you decide which of those words fits in that space and you can write it in with your finger. Kit can spell the blank thing. Okay, and then the last one says, Seth blank hot from running. All right, so you're gonna do that worksheet, then you will submit it on Nearpod and join me here tomorrow. We'll do some more learning. Have a great afternoon. Bye friends.